Hey everybody, how y'all doing? It's Steve coming at you. Hope you're having a great day. Well, I got my Air Force vet shirt on today and I figured I'd do a quick video uh, about <laughs> Kwame Brown again. He's the gift that keeps on giving. I'm just gonna say it for real. It was crazy is he's been clowning a lot of folks. Y'all saw my past videos, he clowned on Charlemagne. Charlemagne tried to come up with this apology and make it sound all sincere and I, I Maybe he meant it. I wasn't feeling it. And apparently Kwame Brown wasn't feeling it neither. <laughs> and then supposedly Steven Jackson uh, apologized or pseudo apologized. I don't think that happened either because Kwame's not acting like he got an apology from that man. And he's still wanting to, uh, he's still feeling some kind of way about Matt Barnes. Matt Barnes, Mr. We can, we make, we can box. You little soft. I, I'm not trying to believe nothing Matt Barnes is saying personally. Uh, you know, Becky with the good hair, <laughs> as he calls him. <laughs> Becky with the good hair. Well, Stephen A. Smith apparently finally came out and responded to Kwame. And in his response, he's got, he's talking about how, oh, I'm finally, y'all fine. Y'all want me to say something? I'm finally going to say something after all the emails I'm getting, all the stuff I'm hearing. I got something to say. I ain't scared. Y'all, y'all tune in tonight for Stephen A's, Stephen A's world, and you'll hear exactly what I got to say about Kwame Brown. <laughs> it's sad. I'm just gonna say it's sad because the man, rather than just kind of going on, because everybody's trying to do stuff for the gram. You know. By the way, all the videos I'm posting, guys, none of them on the gram. None of them. But people doing stuff for the gram, right? Usually. He's promoting his new show to try and boost the ratings. So I guess they can get more advertising and they get more revenue. So he's trying to monetize his comeback at Kwame rather than just going on Twitter or going on the gram and, and saying what he's got to say. A nice marketing ploy. I'm not falling for it. I'm not watching it. Kwame, I got, I'm going to post his video in this link. You know, when Kwame... Kwame Brown bus life. He did a response to what he heard about Stephen A. <laughs> it's awesome. I'm not gonna watch it because I figure I can watch a clip of it on YouTube or Facebook or Grant on the gram or something. I can catch it. Twitter, whatever. I'm not gonna waste my time watching this ESPN, this show that Stephen A is trying to boost. I'm just not I'm not interested in him using Kwame to boost his ratings. Cause he probably gonna get on there and he, he's trying to make it sound all tough. He might get on there and actually apologize for all we know. I, who knows? I guess you got to tune in to find out. I don't care enough to tune in. I'll happily watch it later online. But Kwame ain't having it, man. Kwame. <laughs> Y'all got to check it out. I will put in the link. And all this came from, he's trying to tell us something important. Okay. Stephen A apparently kind of helped boost his career. Off the kind of stuff he was saying about Kwame Brown back in the day. He's calls him Kwame Brown. And all sorts of stuff, right? Back when the kid was 18, 19 years old trying to play professional basketball. That had a serious impact on that kid's career. Not to mention the, the, the kind of trials and tribulations he went through on the Washington Wizards at the time. But that had an impact on his career, man. Now, he still played 12 years. He still made 60, 60, 70 million dollars, something like that. But that had a major impact on that kid. You got a grown ass man, Stephen A. Smith, picking on an 18 year old kid, trying to do something special for his mom who grew up in the project, grew up, grew up poor. Uh, like he said, he didn't have shoes when he was a teenage kid. He was a big kid. He didn't have shoes on his feet. So rather than say, whoa, it's me. Why is a white man trying to keep me down? He decided to think, and one of the reasons I like Kwame because he thinks a lot like I do. It's, it's from the standpoint of if something's going wrong, Okay, what can I do and how can I do to help make this situation, my situation better? So he took it to a whole nother level and very, very successful. And he's done very, very well for himself. I'm really proud of him. Now I'm, I'm doing much better personally than my family did. And that's the way it should be. Your parents should always want their kids to do better than they did. I want my kids to do better than I'm doing. And that's how it should be. And I'm sure Kwame wants the same thing for his kids. But all this, I'm, I'm with it, man. I mean, picking on this 18-year-old kid, that, that one, right? And so now Stephen I supposedly has a response. We're going to hear what his response is. Kwame's not having it. I'll post the video in the link. 
I hope y'all have a great day. Y'all let me know what you think. Oh, well, Steve, I'm going to watch it. I'm not, I'm not going to watch it. Whatever, cool. Let me know either way. Uh, there's no wrong answers, but just like the video, comment on the video, share the video. I look forward to talking to y'all again soon. Oh, by the way, I got my hat off because I got a nice, clean, new cut. I wanted to show off my new cut. So uh hope y'all having a great day. Take care.